The Model 2 just exposed a decade-long lie. Range anxiety? Never your real problem. While automakers pushed 300 versus 400 miles, they ignored what actually hurt. 40-minute charging and batteries dying 30% in winter. Why did every company sell this narrative? Because lithium was all they had, and they couldn't fix it. Tesla's now ditching lithium for aluminum ion. 10-minute full charge, 2.5 million miles. If charging time was always the issue, what else have they hidden? Let's dive right in. Let's talk about what really happened over the last decade. When Tesla launched the first Roadster, lithium-ion was genuinely revolutionary. It worked. It was affordable enough to mass-produce. And most importantly, it was available. But somewhere around 2015, the cracks started showing. Batteries degrading faster than predicted, winter performance dropping by 30 to 40 percent, charging times that made road trips an exercise in patience. Yet every major automaker kept pouring billions into lithium technology. Ford committed to Ultium platforms. GM restructured their entire production strategy. Volkswagen bet their future on lithium-based EVs. The question nobody asked publicly was obvious. If these problems were so evident, why did everyone keep building on the same foundation? The answer is uncomfortable but simple. They had no alternative, and admitting that would have crashed investor confidence overnight. So instead, they did something clever. They shifted your focus. Range became the obsession. Tesla boasts 350 miles, Ford counters with 300. Rivian promises 400. And while you were busy comparing range numbers, the industry quietly hoped you wouldn't notice what was actually making EV ownership miserable. Those 45-minute charging sessions in the cold. The anxiety of watching your battery drain 30% overnight in Minnesota. The $15,000 replacement bill lurking 8 to 10 years down the road. That's not a repair cost. That's buying a second car hidden inside your first one. What makes this even more revealing is how the marketing shifted blame to drivers. You should have planned your route better. You need to precondition your battery, update your app. But the problem was never driver behavior. The problem was lithium chemistry hitting its physical limits, and no amount of software updates could fix physics. While competitors spent five years trying to squeeze another 5% efficiency out of lithium, Musk asked a fundamentally different question. What if the entire chemistry is wrong? That's not an engineering question. That's a philosophical one. And it required admitting that billions already invested might be wasted. Leaked documents reveal Tesla's battery division has been testing aluminum ion cells since early 2024. Not in controlled labs, but in actual Model 3s driving through Death Valley at 120 degrees Fahrenheit and across Canadian highways at minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. The results kept coming back the same. 60 times faster charging than lithium. 20,000 complete cycles before any measurable degradation. And thermal stability that eliminated the need for complex cooling systems entirely. But here's the part that shows how differently Tesla operates. They didn't announce this. No battery day presentation, no press release. They just kept testing, while every analyst continued predicting lithium's dominance through 2030. The strategic logic is brilliant. If Ford or GM knew what was coming, they'd have to announce their own pivot, spooking investors and validating Tesla's direction. By staying silent, Tesla let competitors commit even deeper to lithium before pulling the rug out. The first criticism analysts threw at aluminum ion was predictable. Lower energy density. Lithium delivers 250 to 270 watt-hours per kilogram, while aluminum manages 160 to 200 watt-hours per kilogram. On paper, lithium wins. 
except this comparison deliberately ignores half the equation. Lithium batteries require massive thermal management infrastructure, liquid cooling loops, thermal blankets, heat sinks, fireproof shielding because lithium electrolyte ignites at just 80 degrees Celsius. Add up every component needed to keep lithium from becoming a safety hazard and you've added 200 pounds of dead weight to the vehicle. Aluminum's electrolyte doesn't combust until above 200 degrees Celsius. That single difference eliminates the need for liquid cooling, thermal management, and most of the fireproofing. Strip all that safety equipment out, and aluminum's supposed density disadvantage evaporates. The total system weight is actually lighter. What's even more revealing is how degradation patterns differ. Lithium batteries lose 2 to 3% capacity annually. After 8 years, you're looking at 75 to 80% capacity if you're lucky. Aluminum shows almost zero degradation for the first 10,000 cycles. You could drive a Model 2 for 15 years and still retain 90% of original capacity. The deeper implication is that the entire conversation around battery comparison has been framed incorrectly. We've been measuring the wrong things because the industry wanted us focused on metrics that made lithium look competitive. Once you account for total system weight, degradation curves, and thermal requirements, aluminum doesn't just compete with lithium. It makes lithium look obsolete. University of Queensland documented aluminum ion cells recharging 60 times faster than lithium under identical conditions. Not 60% faster, 60 times faster. In practical terms, the Model 2 can go from 0 to 100% in under 10 minutes. You pull into a supercharger station, walk inside, use the restroom, grab a coffee. Seven minutes later, you're walking back to your car. It's fully charged. That's not competing with gas stations. That's faster than most gas station experiences once you factor in payment processing and pump time. This completely redefines what range means. Having 250 miles versus 350 miles becomes irrelevant. If you can fully recharge in the time it takes to get coffee, why would you ever need more than 200 miles of range? The anxiety around planning charging stops evaporates. You just drive. When the battery gets low, you stop for 10 minutes. Done. Legacy automakers have spent billions optimizing lithium charging from 40 minutes to 30 minutes, with projections reaching maybe 25 minutes by 2028. Tesla just made that entire development roadmap obsolete. While everyone fixates on aluminum, Tesla's sodium ion development might be the more devastating competitive move. Sodium costs six times less than lithium per ton, and it's abundant everywhere. Performance-wise, sodium sits between lithium and aluminum, but the cost advantage is extreme. Tesla can offer two Model 2 configurations. The premium version uses aluminum ion for maximum performance and longevity. The base version uses sodium ion, delivering 90% of the performance at potentially 60% of the price. Industry analysts are whispering about base pricing around $25,000. GM and Ford are locked into multi-billion dollar lithium supply contracts extending through 2030. They physically can't pivot to sodium or aluminum without eating massive losses. Meanwhile, Tesla, controlling their supply chain end-to-end, -end, can shift production between battery chemistries based purely on cost and performance optimization. There's been a silent crisis in cold weather states that kills EV adoption more effectively than any negative press. Lithium batteries in Minnesota, Michigan, and Canada are simply unreliable. Drivers report 30 to 40 percent range loss on winter mornings, charging times that double or triple, batteries that refuse to charge until they warm up for 45 minutes. The industry's response has been consistently inadequate.
precondition your battery, plan routes better, all of which translates to our technology doesn't work in these conditions, so we're making it your problem. Aluminum ion remains stable at minus 40 degrees Celsius. No range degradation, no charging delays. You get in your car in Winnipeg in January, and it works exactly like it does in Phoenix in July. This solves a problem so fundamental that its absence has been quietly strangling EV adoption in cold climates. The manufacturing implications are equally significant. Tesla won't need different battery configurations for different markets. One chemistry works from Arizona to Alaska. The cost savings in production complexity and logistics are substantial enough to impact vehicle pricing. Most lithium batteries hit serious degradation around 150,000 to 200,000 miles. Tesla's aluminum ion testing shows full performance past 2.5 million miles. You're no longer buying a car with a built-in 10-year expiration date. You're buying something that could genuinely last 30 to 40 years. A 10-year-old Model 2 with 100,000 miles isn't a risky purchase anymore. It's got another 2.4 million miles of reliable life remaining. That changes resale values, insurance calculations, financing terms, and consumer psychology around EV ownership. What we're watching isn't just Tesla launching a better battery. It's Tesla forcing every competitor to admit they've spent five years optimizing a dead-end technology. Ford, GM, Volkswagen are all locked into lithium supply contracts worth billions, extending through 2030. Tesla, controlling their supply chain, can pivot to aluminum and sodium without those constraints. That's not a product advantage. That's a structural moat that competitors can't cross, regardless of their budget. This is the iPhone moment for electric vehicles. And the most devastating part? If aluminum ion delivers what Tesla's testing indicates, it doesn't just reshape the EV market, it accelerates the death of the entire combustion engine industry faster than any regulation ever could. So here's what they were hiding all along. The entire business model depended on you not having a solution. Range anxiety kept you obsessed with miles while automakers profited from 40-minute charges, winter failures, and $15,000 battery replacements they called inevitable. The Model 2 just proved the technology to fix it existed. They just couldn't sell it the same way. This is exactly why Tesla's aluminum ion move is devastating. Ford and GM are locked into lithium contracts through 2030. They physically cannot pivot without admitting their entire strategy was wrong. Tesla just forced every competitor to choose between massive losses now or slow death later. And this is only the beginning. If 10-minute charging and 2.5 million mile batteries work at scale, combustion engines don't fade away gradually. They collapse. Fast. What do you think happens when a $25,000 EV outlasts any gas car by decades? Does this finally end the EVs aren't ready excuse? Drop your prediction in the comments. This is Tech Revolution. We break down the innovations reshaping our world. If you want more analysis like this, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you catch every breakthrough as it happens. And if this video opened your eyes to what's really happening, smash that like button. The future isn't about going farther. It's about never waiting again.